write a C++ program to design a class rectangle to show the implementation of static variable and static function that can be used to count the number of rectangle object created. In this program, we are discussing about static variable and static function. Static data members can only have one single copy created regardless of the number of objects what we create for a particular class. All objects of the class share a single copy of the static data member. We have to use a static keyword to declare a static variable inside the class. The static variable need to be initialized outside the class. While the static variable is getting initialized outside the class, we should not use the static keyword. In this program, we are creating a class which is named as rectangle. The rectangle class is having two data member, length and breadth of integer type. Then we have declared a static variable, a static data member, which is named as count. So while we are declaring a static variable, we have to use the keyword static. In the public section, we are declaring a constructor that takes two integer parameters and a method which is named as find area, which is used to calculate the area of a rectangle. And after that, we are including a static method. The name of the method is get count. When we are declaring a static method inside a class, we have to use the keyword static. Static member functions can access only other static data members and static member functions of the class. It will not be able to access a general data member of the class inside a static function. While we are defining a static function inside the class, we have to use a keyword static. But while it is defining outside, we should not use a static keyword while defining a static function outside the class. Now we are defining the constructor. The constructor is used to initialize the value of length and breadth of the current object. So there are two parameters, length and breadth. So the value of length parameter will get stored into the data member length and breadth value will go into the data member breadth value. So since the parameter and the data member names are the same, in order to access the data member, we are using this pointer. And inside the constructor, we are increasing the value of the static variable by one count plus plus. So the value of count will get increased by one. So every time when the constructor is getting called, current value of count will get increased by one because count will be having a single copy of memory location irrespective of the number of objects what we create. So when count value, if it is initialized as zero, during the creation of the first rectangle object, the count will get become one. Creation of the second object, it will call the constructor once again and the count will become two because the count variable is getting shared among all the objects what we are creating. There will be only a single copy. Next, we are defining a find area method by using scope resolution operator. We are defining the find area method outside the class. Return data type is void. Class name is rectangle, scope resolution operator, and find area method does not take any parameters. The area of rectangle is calculated as length into breadth. So we display the value of length, breadth, and area inside the find area method by using cout statement. Next, we are defining the static method. While a static method is defining inside the class directly without a declaration, it has to follow the keyword static. But if the static function, a static member function is declaring inside the class and defining it outside, 
static keyword should be used only during the declaration. While it is defining outside the class, we should not use the static keyword. So the function is defined outside with a return data type. Return data type is int. Class name is rectangle, scope resolution, and the method name is get count. Now get count method is used to return the value of the static variable, which is count. Inside the static functions, we will be able to access only the static data member or any other static functions. Next, we are initializing the value of a static variable. A static variable can be initialized outside the class by mentioning its return data type. So return data type of count variable is int, followed by the class name, rectangle, scope resolution operator, and the static variable count. We have initialized the value of count as zero. While a static variable is initializing outside the class, we should not use the keyword static. Now in the main method, we will be able to access the static variable or the static function by using the class name. So static variable and static function can be accessed directly by using this class name and scope resolution operator. It cannot be accessed by using the object of the class. So first we are accessing static method. So static method is get count. It can be accessed by using the class name and scope resolution operator. Class name is rectangle. After that, we create two rectangle object R1 and R2 by passing two parameters. And both the rectangle area can be calculated by calling the method find area. So find area method has been called by using both the object R1 and R2 as R1.find area and R2.find area. After that, we are displaying the value of the count once again. The value of a count can be displayed by either calling the static method or by accessing the static data member count. Now we are accessing the static method once again by calling get count method. So rectangle scope resolution get count. So during the execution of the program, we can see at the first time the number of rectangle object is zero. Then after that, we have created two rectangle object R1 and R2. During the creation of R1 and R2, the value of count will get increased to two. And that's why the number of rectangle object created is showing as two. 